the benevolent and kindly force white people assumed. <laughs> Pepper springs, beatings, killings. It's enough to make you throw up your hands in frustration. Not that that'll keep the cops from killing you. <laughs> look, look. Woo! Woo! No one's saying that we don't need a police force, e except maybe Crackdale. <laughs> but the point is, the police are like the Legos of public service. They seem pretty fun when you're a kid, and they're better in the movies than in real life. <laughs> but they can be a severe choking hazard. Woo! <laughs> Slay! Here in New York State, angry crowds braved NYPD pushback to protest the non-indictment of policemen, Murderer, mur murderer, and WWE enthusiast Daniel Pantaleo. In the state of Missouri, angry crowds marched through a hail of rubber bullets to protest against the non-indictment of policemen, murderer, and rosacea sufferer Darren Wilson. And all across America, angry crowds were chased away by their sleepy town's squad of police tanks. <laughs> Thankfully, courageous Darren Wilson supporters with nothing to contribute brave their subpar internet connections to take a stand by tweeting hashtag all lives matter, hashtag I never personally owned a slave so what's the big deal, and, and, and hashtag why is everyone calling me a racist? <laughs> though, students closed their laptops and took to the streets to fight racism. Colombians bravely marched on Amsterdam alongside a counter-protest staged by the pro-NYPD contingency, the NYPD. <laughs> students now passionately chant, I can't breathe, in places other than the McBain shaft. <laughs> Advocates for police brutality victims, and a few stray narcoleptics, laid down for justice during the trial. <laughs> luckily, 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 the cold college walk ground wasn't too uncomfortable, since most of the protesters were carrying around their mattresses. <laughs> institutional racism in the Department of Public Safety, which is exciting for public safety because it makes their police cosplays slightly more accurate. <laughs> we've actually, we've heard that James McShane, department head and resident 1984 aficionado, has ensured that the latest suspect's photo is blurry enough to blame any black man in Morning <laughs> should stop their racial profiling and focus on what they do best, making pleasant conversation with Barnard girls in the sign-in line. <laughs> across America, across America, it's become increasingly clear that the phrase, we live in a post-racial society, is as big a lie as, we'll solve it at the next town hall. <laughs> don't have any interest in tearing down the system that's kept them comfortable since the days of aiming hoses at civil rights protesters. And the politicians who could pass reform are only concerned for the well-being of their overwhelmingly apathetic and blindingly white constituents. In protest of the glue that choke holds our society together, the band now forms a middle finger and plays Fuck You Police. Yeah!